This is the Space Invaders Carabiner Edition. And let's, let's take it open. Very similar to the breakout instructions. Ah, this one has batteries included. Anyhow, it's the clip right here, the carabiner clip. It takes batteries, it takes a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver to get into this. There is a reset for your score. Alright, taking a look at the Space Invader instructions. You have the fire button and the on-off button on the top right. Oh, right there. The, the mute button, so that'll mute the sound. And then on the little D-pad, if you push up, that will pause the game. If you push left and right, that moves your cannon. And then if you push down you, um, and you hold it, you'll, you can view the high score. And then here it kind of breaks down what the graphics are. The lives on the top left, your UFO bonus ship that goes across, the alien invaders are in the middle, the bunker is in the bottom there. It has your level display on the top right, the time, the time, and your score, and then your cannon on the bottom. And then it has your uh, speed table, levels 1 to 3, you have 21 to, to 15 to 21 invaders and they move one second so as the levels progress they go faster and faster is basically what this is saying which i've never gotten that far <laughs> the object of the game is to defeat several consecutive waves of space invaders before they destroy you and your planet use the directional controls to move your cannon left and right as you avoid projectiles and fire weaponry of your own when you have a clear shot at an invader, use the fire button to shoot them. Try to utilize the three bunkers to defend yourself from swarming invaders. Be careful though, these defensive bunkers are not indestructible and will be destroyed if they take too much damage. Bunkers can endure five projectiles from the invaders before they collapse, so plan your strategy accordingly. Although the invaders start out slowly, the more of them you destroy, the quicker they will come after you. Destroy all invaders on the screen to advance to the next level. Be aware that each time you reach a new level, the invaders will get slightly faster and smarter, making them harder to avoid and outwit. See how far you can make it. For each invader you successfully shoot down, you will receive 20 points. Occasionally a flying saucer will fly over the invader's top of the screen. If you can manage to shoot it down before it makes it across the screen, you will receive a bonus of either 50 points, 100 points, 150, or 300 points. Be careful while maneuvering your cannon around. If you get hit three times, you lose. Also, do not let the invaders get too close. Even if one invader manages to get to the bottom row, you will lose the game and will have to start over. The game will also end if the allotted time limit runs out. Try to make it through all 10 levels without being overrun. So that's most of the instructions. So you have the levels here, table speed, and this continues over here on the right side. And then on the back, it just talks about the uh, battery information and, and care, how to care for your device and stuff. So, All right, let's start a new game. I'm going to push this button. And let's get going.
Got him. I don't think those barriers save me. Ah, this one. Can't miss in the middle. This guy. There we go. Oh, missed him again. game's not as hard as I thought it would be. I didn't think I would be this decent at it. Oops. 
Oh, now it's starting to ramp. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Get it. Oh, it doesn't kill me. When... Wow, that was weird. <laughs> I did not die. So I'm on level eight. Now it's getting hard. I'm missing now. So I thought right here I would die, like in traditional Space Invaders. Ah! Maybe. Did a game start over? Game over, okay. Okay, I'm gonna hold the power button down. Push down. There was my high score, 4,500. Yeah, so, so when the invader gets to the bottom row, game over. Not just you lose a man, game over. If I was criticizing this unit, the, the main problem I have with it, I have a couple of problems. It's very difficult to see it at different angles. The LCD display, the black. Uh, it's hard to see. You have to have it at just the right angle. And the other criticism I have is this D-pad is it's very difficult to press. I have to press it really hard. But um, other than that, it's not a bad carib carabiner. <laughs> I like the other one better that I reviewed, the breakout one. But um, overall, I enjoyed this little Space Invaders in game. Really, it's just a handheld Space Invader little... LCD version of Space Invaders, and it's not bad. The No Swear Gamer recently reviewed this on his channel a couple of days ago, so I would um, recommend you go check that out and see what he thinks about it uh, as well.